Because you're not doing a damn thing at this moment, are you, honey? Would you come up and take her a drink? Bring her up here. Let's give her a big hand. Bring her up. <laughs> Excellent. Well, what's your name? Porva. Porva. You got it. What Porva? Is that? That's a beautiful name. Thank you. Where is that from? It's from India. India. Oh, that's so great. Porva. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> okay, so hi. What? I'm not as dumb as I look. <laughs> I'm going to teach you how to do the world's oldest magic trick. Okay. You have to pay close attention, okay? <clears throat> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Over 2,000 years old, the ancient miracle of the Chinese linking rings. <laughs> it's a classic. Like great expectations. <laughs> you have to learn it. <laughs> Porva, this is ring number one. This is ring number two. <laughs> this is ring number three. And this is ring number four. Four separate <laughs> solid bands of steel. You ready so far? I'm ready. Good. Which one is this? One. Exactly right. <laughs> Can you guess this ring, too? Two. This is going to be easier than you thought. <laughs> what I want you to do is pick a spot on your ring, any spot at all that looks like a solid spot to you. Hold your ring like this so the solid spot will be right up here. Does that look like a solid spot to you yes. right there? Did you yes. notice any holes in your <laughs> ring anywhere? No, no holes. No. <laughs> You missed one, honey. <laughs> that joke is over 2,000. <laughs> but it's important. See, without this hole, the trick will not work. No, see, without this hole, it wouldn't even be the ancient miracle of the Chinese Lincoln ring. Would it? <laughs> be the ancient miracle of the Chinese Lincoln hubcaps. <laughs> See, the idea is to take this hole and put it into that hole. Which seems kind of odd when you think about it. In order for that to happen, solid steel has to pass through solid steel. A miracle penetration. Don't blink, this may be the best shot you ever get at this ancient mirror. <laughs> solid steel. Two solid steel, ready? Or the one! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be a little more gentle. Two! Solid steel ring linked to another solid steel ring. That's the first part of the trick. The second part of the trick is to take the rings apart. You hold them just like this. You give the rings a spin this way in kind of a circular motion. And then you blow right in the center like this. No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on any stage presenting Porva, the Magnificent, in a feat of prestidigitation and leisure domain over 2,000 years old, the ancient miracle of the Chinese linking rings. That's it. <laughs> well, this is ring number one. This is ring number two. I want you to hold your rings up just like this. That's perfect. This is ring number three. This is ring number four. I'm going to hold mine up the same way. On the count of three, I want you to drop one ring. When I count to three, drop one ring like that so it links into the other ring. Hold one ring tight, let the other ring just drop. Got the idea? I should put Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. genius. <laughs>
Most people don't get this far in this trip. Now, here, now watch this. Here, here's the important part. Do this. Perfect. That's good. That's great. That's great. See, that doesn't really do anything. <laughs> That's how you get the applause. You go like this. Parsley on fish. <laughs> now, <laughs> here's the important part. You hold your rings like this. Give them a spin this way and kind of assert your motion. Yeah, use a little more wrist action, more of that kind of stuff. That's good. Once you get it going, you're going to blow right here in the center. So you take your rings like this, you give them a spin like this, you blow right in the center. Ready? One, two, three, blow. <laughs> they go right through each other. Put one ring up your arm, put the other ring down in your hand, take the ring on your shoulder and give it a push so it slides all the way down your arm, back inside this ring like so, and give it a spin like that. A spin like that. <laughs> well, you're doing great. Most people don't get this far. <laughs> You're a, a magical genius. Thank you. You're like certifiable. <laughs> now here comes the second method for taking the rings apart. You're doing great. Hold your rings like this. Give this ring a spin like so. Everything else and the other ring the same way. Take your left hand, reach the hole like this. Grab this ring down here. Pull it straight out to the hole like that. Put it back through the hole the same way, so you end up with two rings linked back together again, like so. <laughs> this brings us to the third, the final, the most difficult, and the most dangerous method ever devised for taking two solid metal rings apart. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Hold <laughs> your rings like this, like a bow and arrow. Let's point more towards them, though. <laughs> what you're going to do for it, you're going to take the ring in your right hand, give it a spin like this, so it passes right through here. Its momentum will carry it back towards your head loose at a speed of about 20 miles an hour. In order to avoid serious bodily damage, you have to take your right hand and thrust it through the ring as it comes around. In this, you're going to get bonked right on the noggin. You understand so far? Here we go. <laughs> Hold your rings like this. Ready? <laughs> get set. One! Oh, sorry. Minus <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say get set. I know, I, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. It's a, it's a stupid way to make a living. It's a <laughs> way. On the count of three, honey. Ready? One! Two! Three like that, it comes right off. Take that same ring. Throw it straight up in the air like this. Catch it in midair just like that so you have two rings. Look at you. <laughs> Let's give her a big hand, ladies and gentlemen.